As I said, this week, all of our chapel speakers have been giving us a little bit of insight to talk about the joy and the praise we're going to get to see in heaven. I mean, heaven. It's going to be awesome, right? I mean, beauty, majesty. We've got, like, golden city up there in the clouds. Perfection. I mean, I know it's going to be awesome because I was doing a little Google search and I I discovered over 200 songs, and there's probably more than that, that all have heaven in the title. I mean, literally, from Bob Dylan to Beyonce, from Brian Adams to Bruce Springsteen, from Bing Crosby to Bruno Mars, and those were just people who started with the letter B. And they're all singing about heaven. I mean, think about it. Heaven's going to have music. It's going to have instruments. It's going to have excitement and joy. It's going to be awesome, right? I mean, we're going to get to meet some pretty amazing people in heaven, too. I mean, get to meet Abraham. And Abraham. I mean, talk about the person who's, you know, beginning, beginning of the Jewish faith and, you know, listening to God's call to go to a land and he just picked up and went. And then the man who kept our country together in a time of real tragedy and was able to, you know, free the slaves. We're going to get to meet Elizabeth in her old age giving birth. And, and Elizabeth. It, it, I mean, there's some, going to be pr- some pretty legendary people that are going to be in heaven. Think, of, think how awesome it's going to be. It's, heaven's going to be awesome, right? Heaven's going to be awesome, right? I mean, golden cities, jewels, mansions. Is that really my style? I don't know if I'm really into all that. Singing. All, all the time. Some, some might say they don't even like to sing. Um, seems, seems kind of annoying. Holy people. Famous holy people. How do I compete with that? I can't measure up to them. And anyway, with all these holy people around, what fun is it really going to be anyway? I mean, not to mention the last thing, heaven is forever. I can't even get my head around that. I don't know if I like that. Nothing is good if it lasts forever. I mean, when people say, this is taking forever, that's not a good thing. So like, eternity? I mean, I know heaven's going to be great, but forever? Heaven's going to be awesome, right? Hold on. Did I actually say that? Have you actually ever thought something like that? I mean, is it crazy that we're so twisted in our logic that we can even take heaven and maybe make it into something that's a little less than heavenly? It's so easy for us to take the blessings that we have and the gift we've been given and to just take it for granted and forget where it actually came from and who won it for us. Oftentimes, the more we hear about our heavenly home, like we've been hearing this week, the easier it is to take it for granted and diminish some of those eternal joys that wait for us. Today, we're going to take a different look Maybe take a look at heaven from a different perspective. Open our hearts up. Look at Psalm 150 and hopefully think about the joys of heaven in a different way. Please read responsibly the psalm with me. I'll read the sections in black, you read the sections in blue. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. An eternity of praise to God. 
Back to a picture like this again. Now, we just read the psalm, and I don't know if anything's really changed in our heads yet. Singing all the time, praising all the time. It, it, is it still? It's this, right? Well, what I asked some of you to do today, to kind of help maybe flip our thinking a bit, is I asked many of you to share with me some pictures of things that you consider to be heavenly. Heaven on earth, so to speak. Some of your best moments. Greatest times. Now, I'm not trying to say that these earthly experiences are better than heaven. Of course not. But while they don't come close to heavenly glory, the strong emotions that we experience on earth of joy, peace, love, friendship, might help us to look at heaven in a little different way. First of all, the psalm speaks of praising God in his sanctuary in the heavens. God's sanctuary in the heavens is beautiful. I know it is. Of course, I don't know what it's going to look like. I have no concept of that. However, we've been blessed on this earth with many places of beauty, places that we would consider to be amazing. Some of the pictures that you shared with me kind of like put me in a happy place even though I haven't necessarily been to some of them. And I'm sure when you look at some of these pictures that you've shared or that your, some of your classmates have shared, you can kind of get into that feeling of peace and beauty. I mean, multiply that beauty. Multiply that feeling. And that's what heaven's going to be. Heaven's going to be beautiful. Psalm 150 also describes... Heaven is praising God with instruments, singing, and dancing. Instruments, singing, and dancing. Okay, so if you're one of those people who, th who thinks that, you know, I'm not exactly jumping for joy at the idea of instruments, singing, and dancing, I want you to flip your thinking a little bit. Some of the pictures you shared with me have a lot to do with singers, dancing, And I'll be honest, a lot of these people don't look like they're having a bad time. In fact, if you look back at some of your best memories, I bet you a lot of them involve music. I bet you music was there. I bet you people were singing along. I bet you people were dancing. And these people don't look like they're having a bad time or being bored. Multiply this feeling by thousands. Eternal praise to God will be musical, and you'll love it. Psalm 150 also describes the fact that the praise to God does not, is not going to occur in a vacuum. Specifically, the psalm says, everything that has breath will praise the Lord. We're not going to be in heaven alone. We're going to be with friends, family, and heroes. Some of you shared pictures of friends. Fr friends. Okay, I, all right, just making sure. Okay. And... All right, I'm... I'm I knew I was going to have to wait with that one. Okay. But, again, I'm, I'm seeing the fact that you guys are having some fun here. I see the faces of people with their friends with their heroes, with people they admire. And there's joy happening. Think of the best times you've had with your friends. It's something that you're always going to be able to appreciate. Friends and human bonds are a blessing that God gives to us. But you can multiply this feeling of friends here on earth by billions. Eternal praise to God we're going to have a much closer and much better unity with the people we're with. We're praising God with joy, with our friends, our family, and our heroes. Finally, praise to God is going to be celebration. Psalm 150 talks of God's acts of power, his surpassing greatness. We all know what those acts of power and surpassing greatness are. 
His acts of power and greatness are his victory over sin, death, and the devil. That's great stuff, and there's going to be a celebration. A lot of your pictures talk about big moments, celebrations. These people look like they're celebrating, and I know when you had these celebrations, you were enjoying it. You were loving it. You, didn't have a, you weren't having a sad time celebrating. Pretty easy to see here. This is just a weak imitation of the celebration that we're going to get to experience in heaven. Yeah, we love to celebrate, but multiply that celebration by trillions. And that's the kind of celebration that we're going to get to experience every day in heaven. Eternal praise to God will be celebration. So, this was not one of your pictures. Heaven, however you imagine the place, and it doesn't really matter how you imagine it, that's not the important part. What is critical is that we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God has an amazing place waiting for us, a place that's creative God, full of blessings, and beyond all any of our imaginations. We know that this place is going to be beautiful. We know it's going to be full of music. And we also know it's going to be a place we'll be able to praise God with our friends, our heroes, and our family and celebrate. That's amazing. That's the victory. We're going to be celebrating the victory that Christ won for us. And that's going to be a celebration. So, heaven. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Amen.